So I'm assuming that you're thinking about moving to McKinney, Texas, and you're trying to figure out if that's the right move for you. You need to actually understand both the good and the bad parts of living in McKinney, Texas before you commit to moving here. Well, we're gonna cover exactly that today. We're gonna jump into both the pros and the cons of living in McKinney, Texas. Now, McKinney is about 33 miles north of downtown Dallas and is located in Collin County. Is positioned just south of Melissa and north of Allen, right along the 75 corridor. McKinney's population has almost quadrupled since the year 2000. Back in 2000, the population was around 55,000, and this year is projected to be around 202,000 people. So there is a lot of growth happening in McKinney, Texas. The median household income in McKinney, Texas is right around $106,000. Now for context, Frisco has one of the higher median household incomes in the area, and that comes in around $134,000 a year. So McKinney is a little lower than Frisco, but it still is a healthy median household income. Now, of course, you're here to understand what the pros and the cons of living in McKinney, Texas are. And to start things off, we're going to focus on what makes McKinney, Texas a great place to live. And here's a lineup of what we're going to talk about today. First, we're going to talk about outdoor recreation. Then we're going to jump over and talk about the growing economy in McKinney. We'll then discuss historic downtown McKinney and why that makes McKinney such a unique place. After that, we're going to talk about affordable housing in McKinney. We'll briefly discuss why people are just friendlier in McKinney, and we'll wrap everything up by talking about the schools. And at the end, we're gonna talk about what might make McKinney, Texas not so great to live in. So we're gonna talk about all of the cons at the end, so stick around for that. By the way, my name is Michael Carraway. I'm a realtor here in the Dallas, Texas Metro, and I absolutely love getting to work with people just like you who are looking to make a move to the Dallas, Texas Metro. One of my favorite things to do is brainstorming what community is the perfect fit for you. So if you want some help figuring out where to land or just need help finding that perfect house for you, then reach out. Shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email, anytime, seriously. I'm here to help you make the move to the Dallas, Texas Metro. All right, so to kick this off, we're gonna talk about one of the best things about McKinney, Texas, which is its outdoor recreation opportunities. There's over 80 miles of hike and bike trails and over 3,000 acres of parkland in McKinney, Texas. That is pretty significant. To put that into context, it would take you nearly a full day of walking nonstop to hit every single path that's in McKinney, Texas. So if you like jogging, if you like you know walking the dog, if you like biking, if you just like being out on the trails with your family, then McKinney is an amazing spot for you. And what's cool is all these different trails end up connecting to a lot of the different parks in the area, like Bonnie Wink, for example. Now, Bonnie Wink is one of my favorite parks in McKinney, Texas, for a lot of reasons. But on a sentimental note, I was actually at Bonnie Wink Park when my wife and I decided that we were going to move to Texas full time. I was walking around the beautiful lake that they have there, and it just felt like home. Like, it felt like Texas was actually a good spot for us. And Coming from Colorado, it was really important for us to have opportunities to get out into nature. And Bonnie Wink was one of the first places that I felt like we actually had that opportunity. So it was a big reason why we made that decision to move to Texas in the first place. Now at Bonnie Wink Park, you're gonna find over 216 acres of park. There's an amphitheater. There's a beautiful dog park. The dog park is massive and it is packed all the time. It is, it's crazy how many dog owners find themselves there. And what's cool is that you'll actually see like food trucks and different pet vendors pull up trucks there. And it's just, it feels like if you know, if you, if you love dogs, like it is a place to hang out. It's, it's a great place to meet other dog owners as well if you're new to town. Uh, so really love that about Bonnie Wink. There's also some awesome playgrounds that are feel like brand new, good for all sorts of ages. There's a fitness court there. There's fishing ponds, hike and bike trails, all sorts of stuff going on at Bonnie Wink. Now, Irwin Park is another amazing park in McKinney, Texas, and this one's going to feel a little more remote. You have over 212 acres there, and it's a great spot to feel like you're actually in nature. You know, whereas Bonnie Wink, you can definitely tell that you're like in suburbia. Irwin Park, you feel like you're actually a little remote. There's over three picnic pavilions, 12 designated campfire sites, so you can actually go there to have a nice bonfire. That's pretty cool. Uh, there's natural wooded areas, 10 miles of mountain bike trails, campsites, playgrounds, and just a huge amount of open space. And if you're into golf, you'll find a lot of golf opportunities in McKinney, but there's also a lot outside of it as well. But focusing on the ones that are in McKinney, some of the top ones are Stonebridge Ranch Country Club, El Dorado Country Club, Westridge, 
and TPC Craig Ranch. Now there's plenty of more opportunities to get into as far as golf goes, but those are some of the favorites around town. All right, the second pro about McKinney, Texas is the growing economy. Now you could go to a lot of different towns here in Collin and Denton counties, and you could have this pro listed at that because this area in general, this part of Dallas is growing like absolute craziness. Tons of company headquarters are moving to this area. You see a huge influx of people from California, Illinois, New York, and a lot of other states flocking to this area just for the lifestyle that's offered here. So there is a lot of attraction and a lot of population growth in this north part of Dallas. But McKinney in particular has a lot of cool things going on that does make it attractive to a lot of people. Now the first thing that comes to mind is downtown McKinney. There's a lot of plans on just making that better and more revitalized and continuing to expand that area. And we're gonna talk more specifically about historic downtown McKinney and its own pro. Uh, but that's all I'll talk about now is that it is just continuously getting better and growing and that area is attractive for a lot of people and a reason that a lot of people flock to McKinney, Texas. One of the coolest developments that's happening in McKinney is the new Tufts Brewery relocation. Tufts Brewery is a staple in McKinney. It is a go-to place. It is one of the best breweries in the Dallas Metro and they're looking to expand and they're actually relocating and remodeling a 120 year old grain mill and putting in a state of the art 25,000 square foot facility. There's gonna be a production brewery. There's gonna be a retail craft community shopping area that's located in grain bins. So that's super unique. And when it's all said and done, it's gonna be about 40,000 square foot of buildings on four acres of land. It's crazy, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be one of the hubs of McKinney and I'm super excited for that to get here. Another huge expansion project is the McKinney National Airport. Now you can obviously fly private from McKinney National Airport as it currently sits, but there's actually plans in motion to make commercial flights available at the McKinney National Airport as soon as 2026. So we're only three years out. That's gonna be a huge benefit of living in McKinney, Texas, because you're not even gonna to have to drive, you know, the 30 to 45 minutes over to DFW International Airport to get to other places in the world. So that is a huge thing for McKinney, and it's gonna attract a lot of different businesses to this area in particular. Now the city of McKinney is also planning on a lot of expansion and they've actually looked inward and realized they needed to expand themselves. So they've actually invested in a new city hall that's under development right now. It is going to be absolutely nuts. You know, and that's pretty crazy to say about a city hall. It's, it's gonna be a cool building. When it's all said and done, it's going to be a $50 million development there's gonna be spaces within the building for the community to leverage for different meetings or get togethers. There's gonna to be a dedicated spot outside for food trucks. So they're really trying to make an epicenter outside to bring the community in. Um, there's gonna be a community park right there. It's just gonna be a cool spot to hang out uh, outdoors and inside which you can't always say about every city hall. Now, the last thing to note about McKinney is just how much of an emphasis there is on innovation. Now, innovation obviously drives communities and any community that wholeheartedly adopts that spirit of innovation, in my opinion, is gonna be one that succeeds long-term. And to truly embrace this, the McKinney Economic Development Corporation has created an innovation fund to be able to go out and invest in those companies and initiatives that they think are gonna drive the future of McKinney. The innovation fund was created with startups in mind. The mission is to spur and accelerate the growth of innovation focused companies at various levels of revenue and funding stages during the startup life cycle. It's designed to grow with the company as it scales, supplementing growth during the timeliest needs in the startup life cycle. So this is just one great example of how McKinney is driving innovation in their community and that they value business and that they value innovation. And that's the recipe of success for a community. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to our third pro, which is historic downtown McKinney. It's calling it how it is. Historic downtown McKinney is one of the coolest places in all of the North Dallas Metro. There's not many places where you can actually go and experience like an actual downtown once you get out of the Dallas Metro. Now, of course, there are a ton of manufactured town centers in the suburbs, especially in the north part of Dallas. That's what makes this part of the city really special and one of the best places to live, in my opinion. But it's nice to have a place to escape to, whether you live in McKinney or outside of McKinney, that's actually a legit downtown that really mixes in the old with the new and that has more of that spirit of small business. You know, it's a great spot if you just are looking for something to do on a Saturday, you can go to downtown McKinney walk from storefront to storefront. You know, there's over 120 stores, which most are small businesses that you can't get anywhere else. So it's a really cool thing to do is just go in and experience all these small shops, uh, being able to go to all the local restaurants around, which are absolutely great there. Some of my favorite restaurants in McKinney are in downtown McKinney. So uh, definitely a cool place to check out. 
They even do like festivals all the time. It seems like McKinney's always looking for an excuse for a festival or a reason to get together. You know, you have your art and wine festival, you have your Oktoberfest, 4th of July celebrations. Just a lot that goes on in downtown McKinney. And there's just a ton of reasons to get together and bring the community into downtown McKinney. All right, the next pro to living in McKinney, Texas is the affordable housing. Now the median sales price in McKinney, Texas this past month was $490,000. Now compare that to Frisco in the same month, Frisco was $720,000. That's over a $230,000 difference in just a few miles away. So your money just goes a lot further in McKinney compared to a place like Frisco. And to put some more context into this, I pulled a list of all of the homes that were available for sale in both Frisco and McKinney under $500,000. At the time of this recording in McKinney, there were over 97 listings under $500,000. And in Frisco, in the same time period, there were only 40. So literally, double the amount of listings under $500,000 in McKinney. All right, the next pro I wanna talk about is how friendly the people are in McKinney, Texas. Now, I don't know exactly what it is, and obviously this is just my opinion, but a lot of people share the same opinion. The people in McKinney are just super nice. You know that welcome feeling you get when you go to a small town? Like, that's what you get when you go to McKinney. I think there's still that small town root in McKinney that exists, that just community that's built that has, hasn't died as it's grown over the few years. And it could be something to do with, you know, still having that historic downtown that people just attach to and that kind of drives the culture there. I'm not sure what it is, but you'll notice that when you go to McKinney that people are just very nice. And the next pro I want to talk about is the schools. Now, just full disclaimer, I'm also going to talk about a con that exists in McKinney about the schools, but I wanted to point out something positive as well. According to greatschools.org, 82% of schools within McKinney ISD scored average or above when it comes to school quality in comparison to the state average. So that is a big plus. That includes you know, your elementary schools, your middle schools, and your high schools. So generally speaking, you're gonna have a lot of great education in McKinney. Now something to note about McKinney is that just because you live in McKinney doesn't mean you're gonna be going to McKinney ISD. Depending on where you live in McKinney, you could route to a place like Frisco, you could route to Prosper, you could route to Melissa, Lovejoy, Allen, there's a bunch of different schools that you could go to depending on where you live. So when you go to buy a house, make sure that you're confirming what school district your particular house will route to. All right, so we've discussed all the pros about living in McKinney, and now we need to talk about the flip side. What are some of the cons? What are the things that really you need to consider before moving here? Because not everything is perfect in McKinney. The first con I wanna bring up is the shopping and entertainment. Now, obviously I brought up downtown McKinney, and downtown McKinney is an absolutely amazing place to go. But in comparison to a lot of the other suburbs in the DFW Metro, there's just not a ton of shopping and entertainment compared to those places. You know, if you look at places like Frisco and Plano and even the Colony, like you just have an abundance of town centers that are brand new, that have a ton of shopping, that have the urban lifestyle, that have great restaurants, and you can find them popping up all over the place. In McKinney, really, from my perspective, the only place worth going is downtown McKinney. There's not really another town center that is a staple in the community. You have a lot of standalone shopping, like you got your big box stores, you got your Walmarts and Targets, you got your Best Buy, Dick's Sporting Goods. Uh, you have like standalone restaurants, like your chains and stuff that you typically see in any community, but you don't have those special town centers that really the North DFW Metro is known for. Places like Legacy West, The Star, uh, Grandscape, the upcoming places in PGA, uh, you have Waters Creek and Allen. Uh, just a lot of developments like that in nearby communities, but just not in McKinney. But the good news is, is that none of those places that I mentioned are very far away. You know, you can get to all of those within a 30 minute drive. The second con I wanna make sure to bring up is the high school ratings. You know, according to greatschools.org, two out of the three high schools in McKinney ranked six out of 10. And in comparison to a lot of the other schools in different suburbs, you know, that is a lower rating. Education, generally speaking, in North Dallas is really, really good, no matter where you are. And so I'm not exactly sure how they got the six out of 10 rating, and I'm not sure I completely trust it in all honesty, but take the ratings with a grain of salt. You know, do your own research and figure out why the ratings are like they are. Interview the school, look into the state data, and make your own opinion about each school because, because in my opinion, it's really hard to find a bad school anywhere near here. All right, the next kind I wanna bring up is commuting. It just so happens that two of the roads that I hate the most in the Dallas Metro route right through McKinney. Those two roads are 380, which goes east and west, and 75, which is north and south. Now, 75 will take you all the way from McKinney to downtown Dallas. It's a straight shot, so that's super nice. It just gets crowded during rush hours, and it's just like any other interstate in a big city. You're gonna have the stop and go traffic, 
And it's just one of those roads that you know you kind of got to deal with. It's not something that you necessarily enjoy. So that's not an issue. But my least favorite road of all time has to be 380. So 380 will take you from McKinney all the way over to Prosper and further beyond. Um, but I, I'm telling you, avoid this as much as you possibly can because it is a nightmare up there right now. From McKinney to Prosper, there probably has to be 150 stoplights. Like, not really, but there's so many stoplights and so much traffic that you can't go very far without having to stop for a red light. And so that makes it really, really slow to get where you need to go. You know, just for context, you know, I've been in traffic where it takes me, you know, to get to McKinney to Prosper, which on a map does not look like it's too far away. You know, it'll take me 50 plus minutes to do that sometimes. So if you can avoid 380, do it. Um, and the way that you avoid it is by getting on 75, going south and hitting Sam Rayburn to get you further west. It does look like it's a little bit out of the way, but I promise you it'll go faster than if you're having to rely on 380 all the time. And as you're trying to figure out where you're gonna live specifically, you know, there are a lot of great options for living north of 380, and generally speaking, that's okay so long as you're trying to position yourself a little bit closer to 75 so that you can avoid that 380 traffic. And even if you can't, you know, there are some great communities that are being developed above 380 that are a little more west, and I wouldn't necessarily completely shut those out yet, because there are a lot of improvements coming to 380 that'll make things better up there. But just generally speaking, I try to avoid that if possible. And another con is the public transportation. And that is because it is pretty much non-existent in McKinney. And that's actually the case for a lot of these north suburbs in the Dallas Metro. Like you're not seeing a bunch of light rail systems come up here and connect us with downtown Dallas. You're not seeing a lot of bus lines. You're not seeing a bunch of that public transportation that you would find in some of these bigger cities. You know, even, even in Denver, for example, I lived out in Denver for a while, we lived out in the suburbs, but we always had access to a light rail to get us downtown, and Dallas just doesn't really have that infrastructure built up yet. You have to rely on a car if you're gonna live out in the suburbs here in the Dallas Metro. Um, if not, if you, if you don't wanna have that lifestyle, you wanna have that more urban lifestyle, then I highly recommend that you look closer to downtown Dallas. And remember, no matter where you are in the process, reach out. Shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email anytime, seriously. I'm here to help you make the move to the Dallas, Texas Metro. Make sure you like this video and subscribe so you're notified every single time that I publish a video about the Dallas, Texas Metro. And until next time, I will see you later.